There's this show on Netflix called Chef's Table. It's... Now, a few weeks ago, I had the chance to create a masterclass for Chef Bart. We had a one-day shoot to do a six-dish menu while limited time and location. That was already a challenging task to accomplish. But that idea of creating a Chef's Table type video kept on knocking on my head. I pitched to Bart and he loved the idea. For this video to happen, it's important that I can find 30 minutes throughout the day where I can put him to the side and get him to talk about himself, talk about his life, talk about his relationship with food. But considering how limited our timing on the location was and how much filming we had to do, I wasn't very sure if we'd be able to do it. Midway through the last dish, we had this 20 minute wait for the ice cream to modify and I saw that as my opportunity. We were already at the end of the day and we were behind schedule, so I knew I wasn't gonna get any other time, if not that moment. Without any setup or lights, I placed a chair in front of the window. I turned on the camera, we started talking. Luckily, Bart is amazing on camera. Within 10 minutes, he gave me so much material that I got hope that I would be able to do this video again. With that shot, we wrapped up the day and we went home. When it came to the editing, I focused on the masterclass first. That was our priority at the time. But that meant that I left this video to the side for a couple of weeks. I didn't look at it, I didn't thought about it, I was trying to focus on what I had to do. I was a little bit nervous. I was really hopeful of what we had, but I knew that the time that we spent on the location was very limited. I knew that I didn't have a lot of B-roll, or that the interview wasn't as in-depth as I wish it was. But still I had hope that there was something in there that would give me about two to three minutes of really great material that I could work around something that would resemble a chef's table. I started by editing together the interview, a couple of B-rolls, beautiful music, and we got ourselves a short version of a chef's table. I've always been a nature man. I always have loved to be kind of outside and do things and be busy. And that has always transpired to how I grew up. It was really my mom's mindset. And it's something that I still until today like to really transpire in my food as well. You want to make it, you want to eat it while it's warm because that is what really makes it delicious. And, and these kind of teachings from my younger age, they have really grown me into the chef that I am today. I've always been wild, I've always been free. I wanted to travel. And when I was old enough, I've kind of set my sails. I I started working in restaurants, I've worked my way up to some of the most beautiful restaurants in the Netherlands. Great chef's experiences, these guys have told me everything. I love for produce, love for fish, love for grilling, all these little techniques I've picked up along the way, working for these amazing chefs. After working in the Netherlands, having done all the Michelin star restaurants, really worked myself up the ladder, moved to the Caribbean and I've met my wonderful wife. And we are still together for more than 10 years now. We moved to London and we have an amazing family. We have two young kids that also love to be around me in the kitchen. Food is what we live, is what we breathe, is what we do every single day. And, and that speaks for more people in the world. Like lots of people really gather around around food. It's such an amazing, it's such an amazing thing to bring people together into a room, around the table, share the wine, share the bread, share that experience of having something delicious. I hope to be teaching all of the people with my master class, some of my passion, some of my knowledge and some of these things that will bring their families together. Maybe invite a friend you haven't seen for years, maybe invite your, your parents you haven't treated enough. You know, sometimes you get called up in, a, in a, a way to say thank you, can be a beautiful meal. There are some dishes in this course today that can really do that, I think. I think people can take away something special really treat the ones that you love well show them that you have put in the effort that you really love them and that's why you've made something wonderful pour your heart in there pour your heart in that cuisine bring it to the table and show them that you love them it's not perfect by any means but i think it was a great start i do hope that we get a chance to do this again in the near future and put the necessary time to create something truly amazing but considering the limited time that we had i think this turned out better than expected